Hey, y'all looking for the lightest, fluffiest pancake you'll ever see in your life that's got so much great flavor, but there's a trick to it. It's got a little honey in it, so come on. Me and the beak are going to flip them. You better get ready to catch them. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by camp this week. And in this quick little video, what are we talking about? The lightest, fluffiest, no, not dog, pancake you've ever seen. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And people say, everybody make a pancake. Well, if everybody could make a pancake, why are people still going to IHOP or McDonald's and getting pancakes every morning? Folks, we're going to save you some gas money, give you the tips and the tricks to making the lightest, fluffiest pancake you'll ever see in your life. So let's get started. When people go to making pancakes, you know, they got them Aunt Jemima's in the box. And I used a lot of them on ranches many years ago. And then we made sourdough pancakes. We did because sourdough was on the trail with old Cookie a long time ago. And buttermilk. Now, to folks, I really prefer just a whole milk pancake. I, to me, it's got more flavor and it's not really got the tang of that buttermilk that goes with it because I'm looking for a little sweet but also just a little savory and we'll get to that one here in a minute. But to start off with, you got to have some flour. And people are still getting on to me, Shan, on YouTube. How's he say that? Would he spell it for me? F-L-U-R, flour. That's what it is. So many people just reach in here, you know, and they'll get like this and bring it over here. Well, folks, this is pretty critical. You're actually going to see the cowboy measure flour correctly today because we got to have that batter to the right consistency. So we're not going to pack nothing in here. We're going to get a cup full. Uh-huh. And then what we're going to do? Rake it over here we're like this. Uh-huh. So there is one cup right there. So you're going to end up with a cup and a fourth of flour you are, and that is the correct amount to making these light and fluffy pancakes. So to that, what are we going to do? Add some baking soda and baking powder. Now, a lot of recipes might be calling for baking powder, but not baking soda. Well, the two react together, and when you get there with the whole milk, they just make things just pop up there, get so light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use two teaspoons of each one. And folks, I need to know, if you really be liking these videos, give us a like. Give us one of them thumbs up deal so I know what's going on. And we can say, hey, these folks is really liking them little quick videos, maybe about breakfast or something else. And while we're speaking of breakfast, we do have a breakfast playlist that is out there. You can watch it. I'm going to ask you a question, though. How many of you use Clabber Girl baking powder? They're not a sponsor. They're not telling me this. But I've been using Clabber Girl forever and ever. And then they make this other kind, which is aluminium free they do so tell me what you sort of like in baking powder i like to know what people's using out there so it makes it good after the flour the baking powder and the baking soda we need three tablespoons of sugar make sure all your dried ingredients are mixed well and then we're going to talk about hen fruit now they make eggs that come in all sizes and colors yes Color never really minded me so much to what I was going to cook with the egg. I do love a farm fresh egg, but you got medium eggs, you got medium large, you got large eggs, and then you have extra large eggs. Now, I really do like to use in this particular recipe a really large egg. And I'm going to tell you a little secret if Shan will come in here because I don't want everybody to hear it. If you got some duck eggs, Mm. Oh. Them things are going to make this so rich, but you can cut back to one probably because them things are great big honking things. We can't just dump them in there. No, it won't work that way. Crack them, put them right here in this little bowl. If you got one, you take this, you just throw it out there somewhere. Get it, Mage, attack! Yep, he's going to get it. In go the second cackleberry hen fruit rooster bullet. And I want you to give him a whiskey. So you can see... We got her beat up where it is smooth and consistent, so now we are gonna add some milk. Three fourths cup of cow juice we got right here. Now, you seen me add that sugar in there, you did, but also folks, I just like a little bit of that something to give it another sweet, but just a little bit of a different taste. What would that be? Shan, stick your finger in here. You're so sweet, aren't yeah. you, huh? A little bit of pure honey. I like to use a pretty close to two tablespoons there. And we're going to call it like that, a little bit of vanilla. 
I just always make sure it's not whiskey. Whiskey wouldn't be a bad thing either in here, about that much. We're gonna mix all that well together and then put it in the dry. Well, as you can see there, that's sort of like a cake batter is where I want to sort of lead it. You can sort of see right there. You get it too much thinner than that, it all runs off the pan. And it's all right if you think that it's too thin that you can go back and sprinkle you just a little more flour in there and mix it up. Because it's going to all depend on how big your egg was and was you precise on the measurements there. So let me get her started up again. We'll meet you right over at the fire. Well, we broke out the stargazer we have, and folks, a very important tip I'm gonna give you right now. I hope your kitchen is more level than mine. We may have to hold the skillet to one way or the other because we're a little on a slope we are. Now, I like to try these with about a fourth of a cup after the butter has melted. Now, you could use that butter spray, but it changes the taste in them. It does all the time. We're using real butter and it was probably like half of a tablespoon is all it's gonna take because if you try to do this to where you're like frying in oil and everything, the things cook too quick. But you need to be on pretty well low heat, medium low as far as you wanna go. Get you a quarter of a cup in there. Make sure your subjects are ready and watching. We're gonna see which way that wants to drift before I put another one in there. And we might be more level than I think we are, Shan. So we're gonna go for broke here and add two. So we'll see what happens here in just a second. And don't be in no hurry to be trying to flip these because the pancake itself will tell you, hey, hey, down here, I'm showing you that I got all these bubbles coming up through there. I need you to turn me over. I'm hot on the other side. So we'll be able to see as these puff up a little and rise and all them bubbles begin to come up there, then we'll flip them. All right, folks, you can see at the edge of them pancakes, they're beginning to brown up just a little. And you want to let them get to where you can see them puff up in the middle pretty good. But you can see right there on the edges, it's probably time to flip. Now, a trick I'm going to show you, we ain't be using this to cook with, but I don't want nothing sticking to this here spatula. So that's what you can use that butter spray for. Get under that pancake and what? Flip it over. And looky there, it is what I call the just right doneness. So we're going to get this in. Oh, that sort of tore up a little, but it's pretty short flipping in here in this pan. Now, people are going to be saying, I thought you wasn't supposed to use metal against metal. Now, folks, I wasn't in there doing this, scratching on that skillet. I just needed something that I could flip that pancake with and get it off there. And be sure you don't overcook them because they will get a little drier as they go along. I just like to take my hand and use it as a guide to mash here to see what's happening with that dough and we're a little ways off. Usually takes about maybe three to four minutes on one side and about two to three on the other. Ooh, ain't them pretty foot for breakfast, supper, dinner, whenever time you want to have them. But I had a lot of good help today, and they do love some pancakes. Big, here you go, buddy. Here comes little Mage. Mage for his bite. Duker, where you at, buddy? Come on, get yours. You, you love a pancake because it's soft, don't you? What? Oh, come on now. Sade, can you catch? Nearly, Sade. Uh -uh, Mage, you little heathen. <laughs> I'll get you another bite in just a minute, Sadie. So I've been waiting on this and I'm gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna take that out. Mm, There's that a, there a lot of good flavor in there. Get me some of that syrup. Mm. Mm. Gonna do the flip flop. Flip them pancakes. So smooth, so light, so fluffy. Folks, the taste that you get in there, I'm gonna tell you a secret, Shane, because you took a bite while the camera wasn't running, and what did you say? They're, they were the best batch you've made. Uh-huh. 
Folks, we increased the honey just a little on this, but the honey is what stands out. White sugar, sure, it is a sweetener, but that honey is going to bring it so much flavor there, and it's good for you. Get the local grown honey in your area. It'll be so good. Now, everything that we used in this video will be linked right down there below. And as always, I tip my hat to all our service men and women and all the veterans that are keeping that old flag flying in camp over there. We appreciate you one and all we do. Folks, we hope you sure do enjoy these videos on a Sunday afternoon. And thank you for letting us in your living room, your kitchen, wherever you might be. We never take it for granted you watch. So God bless you each and every one. Get on in here and I'm going to go take you down the pancake trail so light and fluffy. They'll float off the plate if you ain't got them there. Shoot, that was wrong. Everybody did a good job and they love pancakes so much. Well, we sure thank y'all for dropping by camp and we hope you enjoyed these videos and what? Two times a week they're coming out now, Sundays and Wednesdays. We appreciate you watching. Spread the good news and let's feed America with a full stomach and a smile.